Orchard gardening is not an easy task. There is a lot of work involved and many processes that must be learned and strictly followed. This lesson will present systematic and scientific ways of caring for orchard trees and seedlings. So the systematic ways of caring for orchards. Ways of watering plants. First, in an orchard gardening, one seeds to consider the seedlings require extra care, particularly when it comes to watering. Water is essential for plant growth and survival. So this uh, proper ways of watering plants, number one is the natural. What is uh, all about the natural way is this is the nature. <laughs> yeah, the nature ways of providing water for plants through the rain. Ayan ang natural. Next one is the manual. This is with uh, the use of pail and deeper or water sprinkler. Ayan yung manual pag didilig. Next is the artificial. Water supply is artificially produced from deep well dumps or what we call the river. Proper irrigation is very important for each orchard, maybe small or large scale. So, proper ways of uh, next, let's move on to the proper ways or tips in performing scientific way of propagating fruit bearing trees. Number one is select a stem which is not too young or too old. Next, be sure that the propagating materials are of the same species. Next is see to it that the stock of the scion are fitted with each other. And last, do the propagation at the right time. So what are the healthy safety measures in propagating fruit bearing trees? Number one, before working Make sure you have refreshed yourself, of course. <laughs> like taking a bath. Dapat naligo ka naman para na refresh ka. In order to work well. Diba? Next, number two is always wear complete personal protective equipment. Which includes, for example, hair nets, hand gloves, apron, boots if needed, pag kailangan protective eyeglasses or eyeglass and face masks o, parang na, nandito parang sumusunod lang tayo sa <laughs> protocol ng pandemic next is make sure tools and equipment are working properly before using them of course si check niyo muna di ba for example yung pala of course si check niyo yung uh, uh, equipments ninyo pala ganyan kung wala bang uh, bali ba for example lang naman mga ganun syempre mas maganda yung alam natin yung uh, safety safety first okay ba next is the always follow instruction for use of equipment and syempre kailangan niyo ding alam kung paano gamitin yung isang uh, gamit or equipment Next one is focus on the work at hand. Do not allow yourself to get distracted. Diba? So, number six. Know your limits in working. Seek help whenever necessary. Pag di mo na kaya, uh, mag, uh, ano ka ng tulong. Humingi ka ng tulong. Pag di mo kaya gawin to, ganyan. Mas tumulong ka sa mas nakakaalam. Mas nakakatanda. Next is work in proper position. Make sure you do not strain your back while working. Siyempre, mahirap na pag uh, sumakit yung likod natin, di ba, guys? So, the use of organic fertilizer. According to the Bureau of uh, Agriculture and Fisheries Product Standards, Organic fertilizer is any product in solid or liquid form of plant or animal origin 
that has undergone substantial decomposition that can supply available nutrients to plants. Panoorin nyo lang po yung mga vlog ko, guys, in farming. Yan. Uh, ginagawa ko na noon ito last uh, summer. Ito, ito. Itong summer na to, nung pandemic. Wala akong nagawa. Nag, nagtanim lang ako. Gumawa ako ng uh, compost ko. Kung ano yung ginagawa ko, kung ano yung mga waste uh, product ninyo, waste material ninyo sa inyong kusina, yung mga pwedeng ma-decompose or pwedeng mabulok, ay i-separate ninyo. For example, balat, ayan. yung kanin, madidecompose yung mga yan. Ayan, wag lang yung mga plastic. Ayan, proper segregation po yung ginagawa hanggang ngayon. So, composting is essentially a natural process by which organic material is decomposed and stabilize the various ways of preparing organic fertilizer ayan, so magre-ready na kayo pa paano gumawa ng organic number one the sandwich type of composting, pa paano yan pa paano yung sandwich type it is an old practice where different organic materials are wastes or wastes are placed on the top of one layer to another such a plant, animal, and soil. The mixed materials are moist, mama-sama-sa, until totally decomposed, then exposed to sunlight before applied as fertilizer. Patutuyuin nyo muna. For example, eto ah, first layer, pwede nyo gawin sa isang timba lang to. First layer, uh, lagyan mo ng konting lupa. Ayan. Konti lang. And then, Konti lang ha, konting-konti lang, or uh, mas maganda yung carbonated rice hull, the first layer. Next layer, yung mga plants, yung mga to yung dahon, balat ng mga kahoy, balat ng saging. And then next layer is, patungan nyo na naman ng soil. And then next layer is uh, animal manure, or yung mga tayo ng kalabaw, tayo ng kambing, tayo ng manok, or whatsoever pwedeng ma-decompose. Ayan. Takpan nyo na naman ng konting lupa. And then, ano na naman? Uh, uh, balat. Balat na naman. Ganun lang. Patong-patong. Kaya tinawag na sandwich type. Okay? Nag-gets nyo? So, chopping or hammering milling is a way of composing wherein organic materials are sprayed with probiotics to make a mixture. Then, covered with plastic sheet to avoid dehydration. A mixture of various organic materials, both from um, plants and animals, uh, ensure a complete nutrient content of the organic fertilizer. The, the probiotic spray inclusion of this compost is helpful in increasing microorganisms that are helpful in creating good composts. Ginawa ko din po yan. Uh, example niyan, kung wala, hindi nyo kaya yung chopping or hammer, hammer milling, uh, pwede kayong yung mga dahon. Kasi rich, yung mga dahon kasi, uh, ayan, kung makikita nyo yung sa, kung ma, sa sako, sako ng mga nabibiling abono, may tatlong label yan, yung triple, triple, triple two, tri, triple uh, sixteen, ganyan. Yung triple to walang gano'n na. Triple 16 and then 0, 46, 0, 0. Diniscuss ko din yan. Panoorin nyo yung vlog ko. So, ma marami kayong matututunan tungkol sa organic farming. Dahil nasa organic uh, farming tayo. Okay? Ayan lang po. And then, ito yung gusto kong plano ko palang na gawin, which is the vermicomposting. It is composting plants which worms were in in the process is faster, producing a rich nutritious, oh, nutritious soil made by the earthworms. <laughs> ayan yung mga tae ng mga earthworms. Ayan. Ganun din. Uh, may proseso din dyan yung papano gumawa ng vermicomposting. First thing is gagawa kayo ng box na hindi pwedeng makawala yung mga earthworms. And then, patong-patong na naman yan. Uh, pwedeng mga balat. Lalagyan nyo ng lupa. Tapos, balat. Balat ng saging. Balat ng pinagkainan. 
Ayan, basta mas mag- pinakamaganda is yung mga yung sahan ng saging. Ayan, tapos bumili na lang kayo ng mga earthworms. Ayan, so thank you so much. Have a good day. Ayan, so sana may uh, natutunan kayo. Panoorin nyo lang yung mga previous vlog ko. Which, uh, ang mga topic ko doon, uh, papaano gumawa ng organic uh, liquid fertilizer, papaano gumawa ng organic uh, organic um, pesticide or insecticide. Ayan. So, thank you so much. It's me, Teacher Ansing. Thank you for watching. Peace out.